What's up guys? Welcome back. I got quite a bit going on on the farm today, but I know lately we've been talking a lot about powdery mildew, both on this channel and across social media. And so I just wanted to say my stance on powdery mildew is the best way to deal with it is to prevent it in the first place. Now, earlier in the season, I shot an instructional on how to prune your zucchinis and other squashes uh, to prevent powdery mildew and maximize production. So let's go ahead and check that out right now. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to prune your zucchinis to prevent powdery mildew and increase your yields. So why bother pruning zucchinis at all? You know, why not just let the plant grow and grow and grow, harvest zucchinis as they come, and then cut it down at the end of the season? What's wrong with that? Well, there's nothing wrong with that. But, if there wasn't a better way, then there wouldn't be this video. And so why is pruning them better? You know, why? what makes this plant need to be pruned where other plants don't? Well, it goes back to the zucchini's growing habit. So, zucchinis are a lot different than other vegetables in your garden. You know, for one, they've got really big leaves. You know, sometimes over a foot across. The other thing with zucchinis is, is they all come out of one stalk. You know, unlike most squashes and pumpkins that grow on these crawling vines, uh, zucchinis tend to come out all out of one spot. And because of this, the zucchinis sort of crowd themselves out. And it's this crowding out that lends to lesser production. And when you get some moist weather or dewy mornings, you can actually start getting powdery mildew. Easily preventable though. All you gotta do is prune your zucchinis. And I'll show you how. Now for this job, you only need two tools. Your scissors. And a pair of gloves. Now you'll notice in most of my videos, I don't wear the gloves. Well, with zucchinis, I'll show you the stock close up and you'll see why you gotta wear gloves. So, if you look at this guy right here, you can see those needle sharp spikes everywhere. Same with this guy, look at that. Gotta wear the gloves. Okay, so I mentioned the growth habit before Let's dive into this guy and have a look. Look at that. All those shoots and all that fruit all coming out of the same location. So pruning these guys is somewhat of an art form but is in no way difficult. I'll show you how right now. Open this right up. That guy off. Okay. okay. Let's see what that looks like. So, let's see how we've opened this plant right up. Okay. You gotta leave some of the big leaves on. You know, you still want the plant to live and produce. But now, air can get through here, more sunlight can hit here, and there's tons of more space for more growth. All around a better looking plant. You can see all the foliage we took off. Probably 20 leaves just off one plant. So let's go have a look at a plant that I pruned about three weeks ago and I pruned it pretty heavily. So let's check this guy out. And this guy cut back pretty severely, probably too severely, and so its reaction has been just to send out a million tiny shoots. But if you look in close, 
Look at all the flower buds. And they're all female flower buds, so they're all going to result in zucchinis. Unbelievable grow back on this one. Yeah, I, I totally wasn't expecting it. And so I've already harvested probably 25, you know, primo zucchinis off this plant. You know, all through probably August, this guy is just going to keep producing for me. Whereas if I had left them and didn't prune them, plant probably would have overproduced and been done for, you know, probably in the next couple of weeks. So I've probably, by pruning this, doubled the production of this plant for the season. Yes, I literally have zucchinis everywhere. It's ridiculous. So a few of the rules that I like to do to make sure that I'm pruning my zucchinis the right way is I don't prune until those first couple of harvests. You know, you really want that plant to get a solid foundation, start getting the female flowers out, start producing a few zucchinis, you know, somewhere between five and 10. That's when you do your first pruning, usually late June, early July. The other thing I like to do is when I prune, I start from the outside in. It just makes it easier because you can really chew up your arms if you try and dive into the middle of that zucchini without getting some of the leaves out of the way. Another tip is, after you do a big pruning like that, water the plant pretty heavily. You know, it's taken some damage. It's, it's gonna be a bit stressed out. Let's get some water into that so that the leaves that it still has will stay turgid, full of water, and keep the plant growing at its maximum capacity. So there you go. You know, what's that old saying? An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Well, never is that more evident than with your zucchini and squash crops. So hopefully you've learned a little bit on how to prevent powdery mildew in your garden. Um, if you do happen to get it, I'll throw a link down below on how you can actually treat powdery mildew. You know, a lot of people will see their plants that are affected by this fungal disease, you know, and they'll cut them down and throw them out thinking that they're past the point of saving, you know, and they're really not. Yes, the powdery mildew is an unsightly affliction, but depending on the time of the year and where you live in the world, you can usually save those plants and get a little bit more production out of them before the fall comes. All right, that's it for today, guys. Leave any questions or comments down below. You know, do you get powdery mildew in your garden? You know, how do you deal with it? And more importantly, are you pruning your zucchinis in such a way that you're preventing the powdery mildew from even appearing? Click subscribe if you haven't already. For those of you that have, I really do appreciate the support, and I'll see you next time.